look in the mirror Man, you so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show If you're easily triggered, leave now Because this is not the show for you Now, what I'm going to be discussing with you, ladies and gentlemen In this reaction video Is that today's modern woman The black woman in particular Demands and expects for gentlemen to accept them with their high body counts. Today's modern day woman, black women in particular, in my most humble opinion, they have no issues having trains ran on them. They have no issues having threesomes ran on them. They don't have no issue with sleeping with everybody up and down the street. And they expect you to accept them with that emotional baggage that comes along with being a freak, being a musty back heifer. So let me go ahead and get into this right quick with no further ado. Hold on one second, y'all, as I put on your screen. I want you to hear this. I might play this clip twice because it's, <laughs> let's get it. I'm going to be real with y'all and y'all not going to like this, but a lot of y'all dudes are going to have to settle for girls with high body counts. The days where you can find a woman with a body count less than five are few far up between. They may be girls from college, girls from high school, girls from your job maybe a OnlyFans model or Instagram model and when the word gets out that you dating her and that you may wife her you're going to get a lot of DMs saying that's true I want you to think about it with the rise of OnlyFans with the rise of the slutty culture with the rise of the whole culture women are throwing chastity behind them women are living extreme lifestyles of debauchery and promiscuity these women now have way more than five bodies on them. They have slept with more than five men. By the time they hit 20, they probably don't slept with over 15 men. And these women, gentlemen, want your sons that you're raising to accept them with their horrendous, promiscuous past. These very women, to the ladies out there, not the mustard bag helpers, but to the ladies, these women are telling your sons that they should not care about how many men that they have slept with. They should not care about how many digglings been in their mouths, how many digglings been in their butts, and how many digglings have been in their sugar hole. They just shouldn't care. So what's happening is you got a bunch of women who have slept with so many people that when she do get a man, that man's friends may know her for the freak that she has been for the last five years. That man's friends may have already tapped that, can tell him how her birthmark look that's between her thighs. So these women want you to just forget. They want you to forget that there was a time that there was a 304 and that they loved it. They couldn't can keep away from it, that there was mustard back helpers, that they love a choo 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 train ran on them. They can't get enough of it. And you ain't gonna stop. Now, this is what she's saying, but let's keep going. You may wife her, you're gonna get a lot of DMs saying this you, and it's gonna be her in a compromising position doing something that she did five, ten years ago, especially the sorority girls. Y'all got to talk to me about that because it's a worldly, the sorority girlies want to be careful about them. And don't be shocked that when during your vows, when the pastor say, speak now for heaven, hold your peace, like 10 dudes flying behind her. I still love you. I still love you because all them so times. I'm going to tell you a story. I knew a man in the military. He was in love with a hoe. And like a, a brother said, man, I can't even let you go out like that because he think about marrying her. So what he did he showed him pictures of his girl getting ran by five dudes. They paid her. Paid her I think he said he paid her about like $56 or $100-something. So she made about $500 or something like that with five different men. So he said, look, man, I can't let you go out like that. Let me, go, let me tell you what your girl did. And if he didn't do that, he would have married a hoe. It's real out here in these streets, man. Let's keep going. 
I'm gonna keep it real, y'all. Y'all know I always keep it real. I'm not gonna lie to you. I done seen so many videos about that girl that fuck 106 people. And that's why I always say body counts do matter to me. I'm not about to fuck you and I only fuck three people my whole goddamn life and you done fuck 20, 15, 30. And it, that's disgusting. Not only are you flop swapping fluids, and it's, it's a health concern, bitch. That's spiritually as well. Y'all wonder why y'all so miserable, so angry, can't get nowhere in life because you got all these spirits attached to your motherfucking ass. And it's kind of alarming to know that y'all just going to bed and just sleep with any fucking body. I mean, damn, y'all don't believe in bed bugs, STDs, nothing. You just invite anybody over to your house. And I don't care. All they want to do is eat some booty. They just want to get Pookie's booty. They just want to open his cheeks, spit in the middle of his booty, and put their tongues in his booty because that's what mustard back helpers would do. That's what it is. Y'all laughing shit, but that's what's going on. These women can't stop it now. They just got to open their legs for everybody to come along, especially if they think you got a bag. That's just what they do. And you know I'm telling you the truth. I know a lot of y'all don't like it, but you know it's the truth, okay? If you want people to stop making content like this, then you got to stop that behavior. Cause I want you to know how easy it is to find the type of shit I find. It's extremely easy. It's plentiful. I'll never run out of content. Simply because you women do not want to practice virtue or chastity. What you want to do is take no accountability for your actions and blame everybody else. It's somebody else's fault that you chose to be a hoe. Now you make that make sense to me or anybody else on the planet. But let's keep going and get in your bed and i just want to say what's the thrill out of it because if you sleep around with that many people none, now one of them has piqued your interest to settle down or marry them and that's why body counts matter to me because what's the point why would i settle down with you and you didn't fuck half the city that's disgusting so y'all some of y'all that's gonna get in the comments well i'm safe with it bitch be safe with it because ain't no way in the hell i respect myself too much ain't no way in the hell i'm gonna hop in the bed with multiple people and give them give away my body to them that's that's just that's uh, that's unrealistic to me. I cannot see myself doing it. I don't give a fuck. It only takes one time to catch some shit that you can't fucking get rid of. And that's why a lot of y'all work walking around with the herpes now and can't get rid of. I never had an STD in my life and thank God. And I think the reason why is because first of all, before we fuck, we go get tested together and then I just don't fuck everybody. I may flirt, I may say sexual shit to you, but baby, sometimes I just be motherfucking playing because y'all motherfuckers be itching and scratching and having some shit that you cannot get rid of. And I don't want that shit. Now, I like to say this. The only reason why she never had an STD is because she never got on stage with Chris Brown. <laughs> like Bugs Bunny said, ain't that a stinker? But it's the truth. Yeah. She ain't been on stage with Usher or Chris Brown. Cause from, allegedly, they got a whole roller of herpes. They got herpes in a line on there. They don't got them all spread out. They got four or five herpes on the leg. You know what I mean? That's how they is. Mm -hmm. I know y'all don't like it, but I had to say it anyway. But let's go ahead and keep going. Let me keep on going. Now listen to this moron. Oh, you got me fucked up. That ain't, I ain't got the type of pussy. If you looking for brand new, like never been used pussy, I'm not the girl for you. I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't that, cause I ain't the bitch that's gonna sit up here and be like, I haven't fucked him. Unless I haven't fucked, I'm never telling you that story. Oh, we know you ain't got no brand new coochie. We can look at you right now until your coochie has been well used. That's, that's what's going on right now. We have a whole bunch of mustard back helpers with well used pussy. It's just what it is. Don't ask me no question like that. We in the last last week, the other day, that's me. The other day, I just fucking that's me. The, I'm never finna be. Oh no, I don't do stuff. No, I be sucking dick with both hands. Flob and everything. I be doing all that shit. Like, I'm not the girl that, no, I don't know. I be gagging. I'm a nasty bitch. Lil' Kim, all that shit. I'm Maya Angelou mixed with Lil' Kim, mixed with Foxy, mixed with Lauren Hill. So, like, I'll pray over the dick and then I'll fuck around and swallow that shit. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's me, multi dimensional. I'm never finna, no, I don't. <laughs> oh, you got me fucked up. That Multi-dimensional. I tell you what, though, as a man, because I'm a man at the end of the day now. If, now, if she wants to suck some dick and shit like that with two hands now, I ain't going to stop her. But at the same time, I sure hell ain't going to wipe that motherfucker either. That's what I'm telling you. I'm just a man, okay? But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about this um this episode right here of the Jeremy Hill Show. I'll be talking to y'all pretty soon. Y'all take it easy now, and y'all be safe now. You hear? Ooh, 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 ooh.